Hi guys, this is Jerry. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna have a quick look at this 2022 all-new Kia EV6. This particular vehicle is the New Zealand version, and we call it Air, so it's sort of the base model, but you still get tons of features as standard on this vehicle. And this vehicle is finished in Glacier, as one of the colors available in New Zealand market. So it's got that sort of pearl white, but with sort of a little bit gold finish on it. And this is my first time to test drive this vehicle. I have to say, it's very impressive for what the vehicle offers everything. Overall, the vehicle size is actually quite a large size vehicle compared to what your normal standard um, sort of vehicle on the road the vehicle feels long it's it's more like a station wagon sort of vehicle but you do have the SUV ground clearance you do have that lift back at the back and uh, the long wheelbase does help with the interior space everything from our side you got to say this is one of the coolest looking vehicle or EV, whatever you want to call it, on the market right now. Let's unlock the car from distance. This is door handles will pop, the windmill opens up, and look at the windmill. You do get this sort of air, aerodynamic flow, but you still get a large windmill, and it pops open. This is how the dashboard, everything looks like at the front. So this particular one is the Air Edition, by the way. So it's the entry model for New Zealand market. We do have the leather seats plus the fabric finish in the center. Electric driver seats plus a lumbar support. There's no sunroof, by the way. Sunroof is always optional in New Zealand. Pop the back. Now that's what you mean by long wheelbase. We got really wide seats. There's tons of room, tons of legroom handroom. So that's my sitting position. I'm about 178 centimeters. And this is how the space looks like. I've got tons of knee room, tons of legroom, tons of foot room. Unfortunately, your toe does touch that. You can feel that. Um, but it is enough space for me. I don't have any complaints sitting in the back. Small pocket. And look at the armrest. This is one of the coolest armrests I'm pretty sure you, you see on the market, passenger and driver. Let's have a look at the dashboard again. So as standard, we get a 12.3 inch display in the center. So that's your driver digital display and a 12.3 inch display in the um, entertainment screen for your navigation, reverse camera, phone connections, everything. That's your control for the gear selector. You do have wireless charging and all that things at the front and another cool thing we have a USB type C charger on both of the seats so we are saving this sort of center console space there's no tunnel in between so it's a flat floor at the bottom wow this is cool I gotta say and seats are very comfortable at the back we also get a armrest and two cup holders on the side, we will also find a 19-inch alloys on this particular train. Um, if it's the base model, you, you may get a smaller wheel. If it's a higher spare, you can get 20 up to 21, I believe, on the GT. Uh, but this one is the 19-inch alloys. And um, for the alloy wheel, again, it sort of helps with the aerodynamic. And the whole body is helping, basically. You can see the lines, you can see the chrome parts, you can see the trims. And um, there's a lot of plastic trims going this motion as well. So it's very cool. At the back, we get a roof spoiler. Look how cool the roof of spoiler is. We, again, have to help, help with the aerodynamic. Everything's all empty in between. And the sepulor additionally looks quite cool. To be fair, when I drive the vehicle, I don't find a really bad blind spot. I still got tons of sort of visibility at the front. This is how the back looks like. Hidden under this, we have a charging port. So we do need to touch that open the charging port we get type 2 and ccs fast charging 
So the vehicle will take the standard Type 2 with, for example, 11 kilowatts. That will charge the vehicle pretty much overnight. And if you are going to use the fast CCS fast charge, it can charge the vehicle as fast as zero, sort of 16 minutes in uh, from zero to 80 percent. Um, with that 230 kilowatts, something like that. I do need to do a little bit more research on this car, by the way, but that's how that works. And we do have an electric handle as well, so that's pretty cool. And a full tail light goes around the vehicle. So let's unlock. See that? We have tail lights at the back. And opening the tailgate, we do have remote control on this one. Let's hold. Go. So that's how the boot volume looks like. It's quite deep, it's quite long, it's quite wide as well. The vehicle body is definitely a wide vehicle. This is again something like a Kia Sportage sort of size, but you don't get the sort of square roof, unfortunately. So you do squeeze up to the space. But if you're driving something like a Kia Sportage or Kia Seltos, this is going to be very similar in terms of size from the back. Your second row is actually better than the Kia Sportage, by the way. Yeah, and we have quick release for rear seats. We have the puzzle blind. We have the charging port for your home three pin. Uh, they will take ages to charge the vehicle. It's more like a small top up. All right, and easy way to close. Just one touch, close all the way. And by the way, if you're interested in purchasing one of these vehicles in New Zealand. We are in, we're at Abit Pukui. We are the authorized dealer for um, Kia, Nissan, Volkswagen, and MG vehicles. And uh, if you want to contact us, I'll leave everything details in the description down below. If you're looking to purchase one of these vehicles from me, my name is Jerry. I'll leave my email address down below as well. And uh, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. That will, really, that will be really helpful for my channel to grow. Um, I'll do another separate POV drive video as well. So that you can see how the vehicle drives everything. Right. And under the bonnet, we have a small frank. So under the EV logo, there's a very tiny space for your, I guess, cables and small items or safety thing things at the front. Other than that, there's not much useful space um, just to get all the batteries and all that things and everything. Switch on the vehicle, push this up. There we go. A small warning sound here and there to let us know what's going on. This is how the steering looks like. I like this new design. It's quite a larger steering, by the way. Uh, it's definitely larger than the normal size steering, but the material is very easy. It's very easy to grip. Uh, you have no problem controlling this. Not like the new Tesla S um, plate, where you, have, you don't have the top, basically. Um, controls, this is all very simple for the Kia display. You get adaptive cruise control, uh, land departure warning, land camp assist, and volume control mode adjust, um, everything. We do have the drive mode select that allows you to switch from eco, normal, to sport. And under sport, the car feels so fast. But otherwise, you're more than welcome to drive a normal situation. On the right hand side, we do have electric handbrake, traction control, and other things for to open the caps and open the boot. Um, everything behind the steering, we have the regeneration braking system, so you can adjust it. This one is minus, this one is plus. So we have the display at the bottom shows you regeneration. We can go all the way to. Oh, unfortunately, we're not driving, so it doesn't allow us to change yet. But once you start driving, you will be able to change this from number two to zero. Or to max so you get about five modes to, to to display so you get no generation all the way from the vehicle basically pull you to a complete stop so that's very easy very handy for for driving the vehicle and the, that's the 12.3 inch display all we need to do is just press this button to change different display for your navigation for your information of the driving for your display everything at the front and you can click this up and down to go everything on the left and right only thing that's, that's different is these control used to be on the right hand side of some of the some of the Kia um, vehicles. So you are, if you're driving a Kia before, you may find this different. But yeah, there's nothing to worry about. It. You're gonna get used to it. 
indicator is on the right, auto lights, and the vehicle has full LED lights and all the things. That's going to be standard for the, for the industry. Um, then windscreen wiper, either auto, off, whatever you like. And this is the business area, so we get the whole 12.3 inch display that allows us to control all the sorts of things. And like the new Kia sort of sort of in infotainment system on the Kia Sport Touch, which you can find on similar, you can press this button to engage on aircon controls or press this button to switch back to the direct button for navigation, maps, everything. If you don't want to use that, all you need to just tap the button on the screen, go into EV mode, map, and all that things. And this is how the map looks like. It's got a full display at the front, by the way. And we need to go back home. We get an EV drive as well. So let's clip this off. So EV drive, we have all the things about charging, about your percentage, about your range to empty, about your settings. You can set up so many things about charging limits, about DC charge and AC charge. You can see your charging current. You can see your winter mode. You can have your utility mode as well. So yeah, so the vehicle is very, very cool. There's tons of information that you can, you can get, you can use and all that things. Uh, on the new Kia, you also get quiet mode, so you're only going to have the speaker at the front sort of thing. Climbing control, radio control, that's all pretty much in one go. And when we put the vehicle on reverse, we'll have the reverse camera and parking sensor at the front and the back. In case you have the higher spec, you'll get the 360 camera, by the way. On this vehicle, you don't have that. Apart from that, we have all the big center console, and let's see that at the front. We have USB-A and Type-C charging, plus two 12 volt socket for charging and 12 volt outlet. And like this, everything's empty here, and we do get a very big storage storage box underneath the center console. You can see there, I can put three liter bottle, three liter um, water bottle in there, no problem. And on the top, we do get the traditional um, two, sort of two cup holders and gear selector that's your manual gears uh, that's your control gears and um, push button start switch your vehicle on off camera auto hold and parking sensors it's easy and we have a qi wireless charging so for your normal smartphone like everything's and it's got grip underneath so it's very easy to use so i'm not going to bounce around and we have a very deep storage space i know you can't see it from here but this is how my arm nearly half of my arm are going yeah there's tons of storage on this vehicle, uh, big, big stanks to the size, everything. And on this air train, we have the sort of, it's more like a fabric, but plus the, it's more like a fabric finish, but it's, you can see it feel, it's more like plastic. It's still cool though. It's very, very cool. It feels very environmentally friendly. If you, if you see that way, obviously being an EV, we can have to do that. And we have all the infotainment and uh, so the glove box. That's a very deep glove box, as well. And look at this. Oh, it's very cool to have this sort of manual book on the new Kias. It's again, it's sort of fabric to suede finish. It is certainly cool. And um, a lot of people, a lot of manufacturers are still using the old traditional way. This is a very cool uh, sort of owner's menu on the vehicle. Apart from that, I think that's pretty much all we have on this vehicle for a quick walk around. Um, when, again, I will upload some videos about driving, about everything. But if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, contact us. And uh, we will see you in the next video.